Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Keith Barker and I'd like to chat with you in this video about how you can get to the information that you need as quickly as possible. And if by fate this is the first time our paths have crossed, hey, welcome. It's good to meet you. My name is Keith Barker. I'm a double CCIE, Cisco Certified Internet Work Expert, and my goal is to help other people in learning technologies or refreshing their technologies to improve their skills, which is going to improve their lives. And I'm talking about you. The better you get at technology, the better skills you'll have, and the more valuable you'll be to yourself, your family, and your friends, and your company. So let's start off by solving the first challenge of how do we find the content that we need? Now, we can do a search inside YouTube or Google, and that'll help us definitely. But if you're on the Keith Barker site, you want to find out, mm, how do I find the CCNA related playlist? Or how do I find the security related playlist and so forth? What I've done is I've created specific playlists just for those purposes. Check this out. So here at the Keith Barker channel, if you click on playlists, this is a, a really cool feature. You click on playlists and I've created some playlists just for specific purposes. So here I have the CCNA Cisco 20301 playlist. So based on the feedback of others that have successfully used this list, here's a great way to use it. As you're studying whatever course of material you're using to study for the CCNA and you're coming across a topic like VLANs and it's, you know, worded a certain way or presented a certain way, you're like, VLANs, I, I just don't quite get it yet. <laughs> Come on over to the channel, look at the, the playlist for CCNA, go down to VLANs, click, and then enjoy it. So basically, uh, think of a VLAN like a big room. And let's say there's a big room with two or 300 people in it. Somebody shouts or yells, everybody has to listen to it. So what we could do is we could take, instead of using one big room, we could chop it up into smaller rooms. Maybe we have three rooms of 100 people each versus one room with 300 people. That's the concept of VLANs, a virtual local area network. Instead of having a network with like 300 devices on it, we can make three separate logical networks, virtual local area networks, and put 100 devices in each one of those. Now, another challenge that comes up with technologies like VLANs is that we also need to have something called street names. Now, in IP networks, they call those network addresses. Think of a network address like a street name. So how do you, you know, if you carved up one giant, you know, VLAN or one network into multiple separate VLANs, how do you have separate streets for each one of those? And the answer is subnetting. And what I did with this important skill for IP subnetting is I thought, you know what, let me teach this the way that I wish somebody would have taught it to me, you know, about three decades ago when I first learned about IP and IP subnetting. So if you want to be a subnetting ninja, or if you don't know what subnetting is yet and you want to learn about it and then become a ninja, you can do it like in 12 videos. Just, you know, pace yourself, take one a week, do the exercise I assigned, and you'll walk out of there knowing not only how to subnet, but also solving networking problems where incorrect subnetting or IP addressing has been done. And let me talk about one other challenge that comes up, and that is, how do we know? Like if we're studying something, let's say we're doing our main course of study, whether it's subnetting or VLANs or routing, how do we know if we're like really understanding those concepts? And the answer is perhaps a little bit of assessment, assessment practice exams. And I've created a whole nother series for online quiz questions. So if you want to participate in those, currently we're holding those at 11 a.m. Pacific time on Sundays. Come on down. We'd love to have you participate. But we also recorded them and I put them in a playlist. Check this out. So in this playlist right here called Online Quiz Recordings, I'll click on View Full Playlist. And as of this recording, there's 19 of them in here. OSPF and static routing and reading routing tables and layer 2 security and IPv4 subnetting and the list goes on. And I did some calculations yesterday and there's like over 200 questions total in those. So if you're studying some topic, you can dive into the playlist. You want to learn more about it on this channel and also then go to the quizzes and then assess yourself. It's really, really convenient because you can just scrub to the question, take a moment, make your best guess, and then look at the answer presented in the video and then, you know, scrub forward to the next question. They're a lot of fun. They'll also help you identify areas where you might need to study a little bit more or perhaps where you thought you understood something, but you need to dig a little deeper to make sure you've got it. And one other aspect I'd like to share with you is that there is a community waiting for you if you'd like to join it, not only here on YouTube by subscribing and becoming part of this community, but also on Discord. Now, the YouTube and the Discord are all absolutely free. So there's a link in this description for Discord. You can join us there. You can reach me there. There's a, like thousands of people that are helping each other with Cisco related topics, a lot of them in CCNA. So we would love to have you. And I'd like to share one closing thought with you before we go, and that is this. Are you committed? If you are committed saying, you know what, gosh, golly, I'm, you know, whatever your goal is, whether it's CCNA or CCNP or CCI or whatever the thing is you want to accomplish, 
If you're committed, I encourage you to commit to others. In fact, you can do it starting right now. In the comments below, just chat, I'm committed. And then what I'd love you to do is follow up with what are you committed to? I'm committed by getting my CCNA certification by a certain date, commit. <laughs> or I'm committed to learning this technology by a certain date. Whatever it is, by making that commitment, you're gonna help solidify your resolve to get it done. And I wanna, sh and I wanna share with you something I want you to avoid. And that is this, please, please, please don't make studying for a certification a hobby that you do part-time for more than a year. Because learning the technology is important. It changed my life. I got my first certification with Cisco back in, uh, when was it, like 1999. And then I got my first CCA in 2001 and another one in 2003. And I'm continuing to learn and grow all the time. But I would never, I would never go back and erase that or change it because it literally changed my life. So the more skills you have, the more search you get representing more knowledge that you're building and skills that you're building, the better you're going to be. So commit, don't make it a hobby, get it done. So if you are all in, I am all in rooting for you. You can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. And we're here to help. I'll see you in the next video. And if you're ready to, go ahead and click on that master playlist on the Keith Barker channel and take a pick at what you're currently studying and let's get to work. I'll see you in the next video. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you. I would watch the days go by, wasted in blue. I was out of use.